guys welcome back to my channel Sophie Society thanks so much for clicking on this video and for today's video I'm going to be reviewing and show you guys how I made my vision board for the year 2021 okay because 2020 is please in our hats we don't even want to bring it up no more out of here so I made a vision board and I also recorded me making it so if you guys you know wanted tips on how to make your own and then I'm also going to be talking about a few of the goals that I have on here and the measures that I'm going to take to try to accomplish these goals so if you want to know more about my vision for 2021 continue to watch so this is my vision board right here as you can see and um it's super duper easy to make a vision board if you guys have never made one before you can just go to walmart and get a poster i like to get the styrofoam ones because they're just a little bit heavy duty um and they'll last longer than just a paper one but any kind of poster board will work and you literally last year and the year before that when i make my vision boards normally i would just get magazines and cut um things out that are inspiring or something that i want to accomplish out of magazines but this year i wanted to be really specific yeah and so first i kind of went on pinterest just to find a little bit of inspo um of like how one of my mood boards look my mood board how one of my vision boards to look or just like a little bit of motivation and inspiration for the 2021 new year but i already knew kind of what i wanted to focus on for this new year and so i just went on pinterest and google and just downloaded and screenshot some images that I wanted to put on here and printed them out in our printer downstairs or you can go to the library and print them out if you ain't got no print yet and you can print for 10 cents so let's go ahead and get into it this is how mine looks I hope you guys can see everything and some people are a little apprehensive about sharing you know their goals whatever they don't want people praying on their downfall but I don't give other people that much power over my life that's just me but anyways, this is my vision board. And so I'm just going to go ahead and start dead in the center. I have kind of like my mantra of the year and it just says um, hard work pays off. I also have that on my little board back there. You guys can't see it, but it's on the wall and it says hard work always pays off. Working a nine to five, balancing your other stuff. I've always admired that and I want to be that person, just like a hardworking person because once again, I know hard work will always pay off. So um, I have that in the middle. I just want to really put in the effort and put in the work and it's bound to pay off, hopefully. Okay, and then over here, I have a picture of my car. It's not blue, my car is black, but I do have a Toyota. And this year I will be done paying it off, finally, thank God. So that's up here because y'all, I'm so ready to pay that car off. I'm tired of paying these car notes. I don't even want another car. Then, like my largest, my biggest um, goal for this year is to reach 10,000 subscribers on the tube here. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So it's society, okay? So um, yeah, I'm trying to run it up and to be honest, I've been on YouTube for a very long time and it's kind of embarrassing to see how long I've been on YouTube and how less progress that I've made with my subscribers. But anyways, this is my goal, 10,000 this year. So I believe that this is going to happen. I really do. Okay, so I told you guys I would share like my goals for the year, but I would also kind of tell you guys the steps that I plan on taking to make these goals come into fruition. So for the 10,000 subscribers, I have a plan and it's all written out of um, posting at least three videos a week and hopefully that'll kind of help me out and just get more viewers on my channel and they'll like my personality and like what I got going on and hit the subscribe button. So I have like a method to it. For my car, I mean, ain't nothing I can do but go to work and get some money and pay on my car note every month next to that i have just like a stack of money here oh a stack of money here because we all want some money child i'm but for real for real <laughs> i want to make more money and i want to save more money but in uh actuality i really want to just get better with my money spending habit habits i'm not really that good with managing my money i'm the type of person if i have some money i'm gone i'm going to the store i don't even need the stuff i'm not buying stuff i don't even need like, I just want to get much better with my money. So, child, speaking of finances, I can't save nothing Nate, if I ain't got no job. If you guys are new here, which if you are, once again, hit the subscribe button. Um, I recently graduated from college last year with my degree in communication. So I'm kind of well skilled in like technology and digital media and journalism and all that whole world. So 
Since graduating, I have not gotten a job or a career in my field yet. I've been working like part-time jobs, just little jobs, you know. But it's my goal, like my top goal, like right now, to um, get hired get a job in my career field before I wasn't really putting in as much effort but lately like I've literally put in like over 50 job applications so I'm faithful and I'm hopeful that something is going to come through for the kid okay next up on the docket <laughs> um I have my podcast show if you guys didn't know me and my sister have a podcast show called millennials voice podcast available on youtube spotify and apple Podcasts and google Podcasts. But anyways, um, so that's something I've been working on. Been up and going. We shoot episodes once a week, and but we really want to get like really serious with it. Get like an actual uploading schedule. So you got make sure you guys check that out. But I really want to focus just on being super strict and um, consistent. There we go. Consistent with this podcast show. We walk by faith, not by sight. Now I put this on here. This is something kind of personal that I really don't tell a lot of people. So y'all look special okay really only my mom and my sister really knows this but while of course i do believe in god i believe you know there's no way a human is making the sun rise and set making trees sprout up out the ground i know all that but i would say my faith and my um relationship with god himself isn't the best okay it's been a little rocky Okay, Rocky Road ice cream. But on a serious note, my I just really, really want to, especially now that I'm getting older, I feel like I'm kind of maybe understanding. Here's the thing, I'm an Aquarius and a lot of things for me, it's logical. Like I'm a logistics type of person. If it, don't, if it doesn't make sense, sometimes I don't get it. So sometimes I question my fate, it's just a lot, but I really, 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 really want to work on my faith in God and knowing that like, I'm not necessarily in control of my own life if, if something doesn't go my way if I don't get a job if I don't get something my way in the grand scheme of things it's just, it just wasn't in the plan for me so I'm really trying to work on my relationship and my faith in God and right down here is a picture of a girl praying so I just put that just to kind of coincide with the whole faith thing and then right here is a man or whoever watering a tree and it has F's all over it and what that means for me is he's growing a, a um, fan base. I really, really, this coincides with the, our podcast show as well. I really, really, really want to grow a strong fan base for Millennials Voice Podcast. Like a good fan base. Like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for a new episode. I love these girls. Like those kind of comments. That's what I really want versus like tons of uh, views or listeners. I really want a good fan base. So that's a goal that goes with the podcast what's down here oh right here i just want to get a new camera for my youtube channel right now i have a sony i want to get uh just an upgraded version of that so that's something that is probably going to come um down the line though right next to that i have another quote i'm a quote kind of gal this just says stay consistent and trust your vision y'all let me tell you something me and the C word are not friends and not that C word, okay? I am the most inconsistent person that I know. I'm surprised I graduated college. I'm super duper inconsistent. So that's something that I've really been trying to work on actually for the last couple of years. I wanna get out of my own mind and stop overthinking things and just do it and be consistent and strict and determined. That's the person that I am trying to become as I get older. I'm just kind of realizing things I need to change or that I want to work on within myself and being consistent is the main one. That should have been at the top of the list child because you can't get nowhere if you're being inconsistent okay. Right down here is just a little beauty forever if you guys don't know it's a hair and a weave company not necessarily them but I do want to get a um, hair weave sponsorship um, on my YouTube channel so hopefully that will happen for me this is just an alarm clock if y'all if I told y'all what time I'd be waking up every day I usually get up around like 12 or 11 30 something like that half the day already gone it's already lunchtime I really want to wake up earlier because I it's ever since I was a kid my mom pushing our brain cells early bird catches the worm y'all every time I wake up late 
half the day's gone and I have gotten only half the things on my to-do list checked off. So I know if I wake up early, I have so much more time to get things done and be productive Pat, okay? Not Lazy Susan. Right here, I know y'all see my good sis. This is just a picture of a girl's natural hair and she's kind of pulling it down stretching it out and my goal my hair is like a decent length but I really want my hair to be um bra strap length evenly it might be some pieces that are bra strap length but I want it to be evenly I really want my hair to be thicker so I've actually been taking the necessary steps to take care of my hair and get a good hair regime going I deep condition way more often I do hot oil treatments protein treatments and so yeah that's a goal of mine right here is another quote this one says i don't even know Ja. oh don't be the only one standing in your way i'm an aquarius and don't get me wrong because i'm not a big astrology person i'm not into all that stuff but lately i have been reading a lot about my sign and it's just crazy because a lot of that stuff is true i'd be like this is weird but anyways aquarius is we are very much overthinkers and i get in my own head and a lot of things i know i feel i can feel that i have like the strength and the power within me to literally create the life i want for myself but sometimes i get in my own way laziness like i told y'all not being consistent being too comfortable i'm very much in my own comfort zone um just all kinds of stuff and that's literally me getting in my own way because i have all the equipment all the necessary tools that i need to let's just say for example my podcast show i literally have a whole set cameras lighting and what i be doing posting every now and then I get in my own way so that's something that I'm going not need to something that I'm going to work on this year so I can see improvement in my life and then the last thing I have on here I don't know if y'all could see that but it's this one and this isn't necessarily a goal for this year in particular but it's always always been like a dream of mine but this has always been just like something way in the back of my mind but I just decided to put it on my board this is gonna be on my board every year actually it's the Forbes 30 under 30 y'all know Forbes magazine and every year they put out a list of like pretty much like people in the industry or entertainment industry or just celebrities whoever who are making major moves under the age of 30 I am 24 about to turn 25 in actually a few weeks y'all wish me a happy birthday in the comments um, and I've always always wanted to be on Forbes 30 under 30 so I have five years and three weeks to make some stuff shapopping get my name popping so I could be on the Forbes 30 under 30 so yes guys um I'll let you look at my vision board one more time that is everything on my vision board and I hope that this um, video was a little I don't know inspirational motivational for you guys to make a vision board of your own or it doesn't have to be this big and elaborate it can literally be like um, a sheet of paper in your notebook and you write down your goals or whatever but I think it's important to have futuristic plans something to look forward to something to work towards um, and I love watching these kind of videos this is my fourth year doing a vision board and um, um, I think they're really helpful so and let me add if everything on the board doesn't become true it's okay but the thing is that you work towards something and you can knock some of these off the list now me I'm gonna try my darnest to accomplish everything on this board this year because my vision board last year I got a few things off there the year before that I got a few things off but this year I really want to work hard I told y'all hard work I'm working hard this year baby so if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did recording it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know down in the comment section what you think about vision boards or anything that you want to leave me. I love reading the comments. Well, I don't really get that many comments, but the ones I do get, I love reading them. And I will see you guys in my next video.